Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. So about 10 years ago, Canonical introduced a little something called Unity. And then, with the release of Ubuntu 18.04, they yanked Unity away. This was viewed by many people in the Linux community as a mistake. But now, there is a brand new Linux distribution designed to bring Unity back from the dead. Its creator has been written about in Forbes, is now being featured on Linux for Everyone, has worked with Canonical's Alan Pope. All he has to do now is turn 11 years old. But before we get into it, let me take a second to thank DigitalOcean for sponsoring this video. DigitalOcean offers the simplest, most developer-friendly cloud platform. It's optimized to make managing and scaling apps easy with an intuitive API, multiple storage options, integrated firewalls, load balancers, and way more than I can mention in this ad spot. DigitalOcean also has thousands of tutorials which they keep up to date. You can get all this plus access to their awesome customer support for as low as five bucks per month. So whether it's a huge project or just a simple blog, you can get started on DigitalOcean for two months free with a $100 credit by going to do.co slash DLN. And I want to thank DigitalOcean for sponsoring this video and the entire Destination Linux network. Yep, if you're yearning for those good old Unity and Compiz days, I bring awesome tidings. Someone's shining a new spotlight on him in the form of Ubuntu Unity Remix 2004. And yes, that someone is 10-year-old Rudra Saraswat. And this isn't even the first Linux distribution he's developed. He's also behind Crob Linux, the only KDE Plasma distro for the Raspberry Pi 4. Quite a prolific little dude. He has his sights set on Ubuntu Unity Remix becoming an official Ubuntu flavor. In a conversation on Telegram, he told me, quote, I had used Ubuntu 1704 back when I was eight, and I really loved Unity 7. So when Unity 7 was discontinued by Canonical, I wasn't happy and wanted to bring it back. I created this project to give Unity 7 a new life. Of course, Unity isn't remotely dead and buried, right? The UbiPorts community has continued development, and it remains alive and well in Ubuntu Touch for mobile devices like the Pine Phone. There's also Umix 2004, but Saraswat's take has some key differences that are important to him and might be important to you too. To begin with, Ubuntu Unity Remix 2004 is built from a stock base. It's also employing Unity 7, not Unity 8, because that went on to be a mobile-first user interface. Another notable change is that Display Manager Light DM has been removed in favor of GDM3. If you want to test it out, I'll have a link directly to the new ISO in the description for this video. It also includes the Unity Tweak tool built in, as well as Yaru and Papyrus theming by default. Now it's looking like there might be some compatibility issues with Unity Tweak Tool, and some of the features simply don't work in Ubuntu Unity Remix. So our 10-year-old WizKid has taken the initiative of contacting the Unity Tweak Tool developer to get things polished up and working. So Unity was a little before my time, but it still has a passionate following in the Linux community. And I have no doubt this is going to be awesome news to many of you. And if uh, you want to get involved in the conversation around Ubuntu Unity Remix, I'll have links to the Telegram channel, Telegram discussion group, and the Twitter account in the description for this video. All right, guys, so I'm going to get out of here. But as always, I appreciate your eyeballs and your likes and your comments and your subscribes and everything else you do to support this channel and uh, encourage me to keep going. And a big, big thank you to those guys and girls right there. My patrons, my super fans who support the show and the channel with their wallets. I thank you guys so much. If you're not a patron yet, you get all kinds of bonuses. You get exclusive stuff like extended unedited interviews. You get early videos, early podcasts. Uh, you get the occasional little sneak peek through the Patreon Lens app. You get a credit at the end of each video if you're a super fan, and a lot more. Anyway, stay tuned for your second cup of Linux and coffee coming up in a few days. And on behalf of everyone here at the Linux for Everyone team, take care and take care of each other. See ya.